Okay, everybody, this is going to be the last time you'll see me today getting ready to go to work. I almost forgot about my scent setter candle. It had been burning for a while. Um, I wasn't getting too much of a throw with it being burned, um, so I decided to put it on my warmer, my candle warmer, and see if that helped. Um, it did a little bit. Uh, like I said, I do like the smell of the candle, but... Um, Unfortunately, it just wasn't uh, as much of a throw as I normally would like. Maybe it's because I have such an open floor plan and like all my rooms, hallways, everything are just pretty much open. So I, it probably would do better in a bedroom, bathroom, something like that. The smell is really nice. It's just, it's not as much as, of a, um, a throw, I'm jumbling my words around, as I would like. So, um, to get on to the good part, um, my candle, needless to say, is completely ready. It's almost <laughs> spilling out of the jar. I was on the phone for a while with, um, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. And, um, I completely forgot about this. Um, in the meantime, I did melt the jewelry tart that was out of my D stash box that I bought um, in the Juniper Breeze and I did take out the prize out of that it only took a few minutes because I guess it was so thin um, it did smell good on my warmer and this is what I got from it a little necklace just a little standard chain and a star you probably can't tell but it has like um, pink little gems on it it's very small it's like a child's necklace it's like that would not even be able to fit around my neck so I'm just gonna give it to my daughter it is very cute it's not marked um, that's okay um, she loves it it's just her size it looks beautiful on her so um, that was a nice gift for her since she's complaining that I didn't order her any soaps from Bejeweled Bubbles when I did mine so at least she got a little bit of a prize and um, back to my scent setter candle this was Divalicious um, I really I like their company I really like that they did add the option for genuine jewelry for um, an additional fee I probably won't get it often just because it's $40 but I mean $40 is a great price for having um, real jewelry in it, like no matter what, you're going to get a real piece. Um, the smell smells off, um, awesome. I was going to say awful, but that's not true at all. It smells awesome. And um, it's just, it's not as strong as I would like. If it was stronger, I would order this smell again just because I like it. It's a girly scent and I like it. Um, scent Cetera, their candles are blended. Um, they're not like 100% soy and they're not paraffin. They're blended. So um, that's good. I do like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get the surprise out. You probably are like stop talking and just get it out already. So I'm just going to go ahead and get to that. So that came out like really well since it's pretty much liquefied through all the way through. There's still some foil inside of my candle that I don't want to get left there. And then it hardened. Probably wouldn't be a big deal, but that's just me. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit and see what I get. And I don't know. There's a lot of cushion in here. I love rings. I hope it's a ring. I don't remember if I could pick what comes in this. I don't think I could. But yeah, it might be a ring because it does feel round. It just has feels like there's a lot of foil and a lot of cushion. So I'm excited. And I have fat, chubby fingers. So I'm almost like 90% sure this is not going to fit me. But if it's real, it can be resized. Yes, this is extremely small. I can't even see it all the way yet, but... I can feel that it's small. It's really dainty. Looks like it's a blue stone. It's like plain blue with little gems on the sides. This bag is very slippery and everybody says that and 
it's true they are completely slippery and my method usually that I use to get these bags open is not working with this bag since it is so slippery so I'm just gonna tear it because for some reason my scissors are not over here I think I put them up because my three-year-old daughter kept trying to um, cut stuff with them and that is a no-no in my house so and of course it would give me a problem even with ripping it open and like I said earlier I do not know how to edit so the whole time that I'm messing with this bag you'll have to sit there and wait impatiently or just skip through let me try this again okay all right here we go fumbling with the bag don't we love that oh great another bag this one isn't as slippery though so I am so so sorry yeah I'm not even gonna try I'm just gonna rip Are you kidding me right now? It's not as small as I thought, but it is going to be too small for me. Let me clean it up for a second. It is blue with um, little tiny green stones on it. Try to get that in there for you to see. That and then this. It still needs to be cleaned up quite a bit. I don't know how good that's going to show up on camera. Um, yeah, it is very tiny. Uh, I think it's 925. cannot I cannot read this at all it is so blurry it almost kind of looks unless I'm reading it upside down which it could be a possibility it looks like it says seven seven eight five I don't know um, and I'm not trying to be mean or Say anything bad about this company because I do like Sensetera. Um, but being that the candle was forty dollars, hold on, I have a message coming up on my screen. Okay, being that the candle was forty dollars, that's probably about all that the ring may be worth. But like I said, time and time again, I don't care about the worth. It's just the quality of the metal itself is like not great you can see like a bunch of little imperfections in it and like I'm just trying to give an honest review I'm not trying to be you know too critical or anything because I mean I did get it out of a candle so I'm happy with anything I get but it did come with a little piece of paper and what it says is since cetera the stone is a genuine blue topaz and it has accent stones that are genuine I'm probably gonna like not say this right Marcus it I'm guessing it's Marcus it um m-a-r-k-c-a-s-i-t-e I would say Marcus it um, 925 it's a size 8 which I need a 9 and the estimated retail value is $89 so that's not bad. $40 candle, $89 ring. So for $40, I got an $89 ring and a candle. So that's not bad at all. I want to show you how small a size 8 is on my chubby fingers. It only goes down to about there, like knuckle way, and that's even tight. 
might fit on my pinky that's sad that my pinky is an eight but yes fits perfectly on my pinky so i can still wear it um so all in all i just wish it would had been you know a little better quality on the metal but like i said i don't want to be sound like i'm ungrateful or nasty or anything like that because i'm not i appreciate it. i will wear this um but uh 89 dollars is what it says but i probably wouldn't pay 89 dollars for it just because of how it does look there are a lot of imperfections in there and i wish you could see it <clears throat> but like i said it's not a big deal at all i'm just trying to be honest to let everybody know you know what they could possibly end up with uh, my expectations were not high of course um they never are it's just i like to do this i i mean i like getting jewelry out of candles no matter what it looks like no matter the value no matter you know what i get i don't care i just like to do it but some people are in it so you know to win something big and that's perfectly fine um, I just wanted everybody to know that, like, you could get something like that. And, of course, with my camera, you cannot see the imperfections I'm talking about. But they're there. And, like, the color of the metal in some places aren't the same color as, you know, what the band, what it should be. It's, like, a lot lighter. It looks almost whitish in some spots. But that might be wax. I don't know. It doesn't look like it's wax. But we'll see i'll clean it up and i'll have to put um <clears throat> some pictures of it up on um facebook or um edit this video and put it in there i'm not sure yet we'll see what i have um time to do i can't do it tonight but um i think that's about it oh in case you're wondering these are the two rings that i got from cody from fire bling candles i am in love with these two rings both of these are marked they're both marked 925 um they're stunning i'm so excited i um got i didn't get a candle from her this time i got two sets of the uh tarts with jewelry i think they were 14.99 and for 14.99 i got five huge tarts um 10 all together but two five packs um i got them in moonlight path and twilight woods both like bath and body work scents and i'm gonna tell you it smelled like true to its name it smelled just like bath and body works moonlight path and twilight woods i absolutely love it it burned like beautifully it i mean i really can't say much about it i loved it um I burned the whole thing it's actually still in my warmer one of them is because I had to take um, and put it in another container because I'm gonna burn it again um, and so I could get my surprise out of the um, sunflowers boutique jewelry tart that I got from my D stash box so um, yeah let me show you just one more time up close because I'm just like in love with these and then I'll let you guys get back to other videos but, I mean, you can see all the little bling in there. That's a purple stone. I don't know what it shows up. It looks kind of bluish to me, but it's actually really purple. And it's got all this bling and sparkle. And I did post pictures on Facebook, but I'm going to show you again. Um, I love this one. Both of them. I got them in a size 10. Because, like I said, I wear a size 9 on my ring finger. But I thought with a 10, I could fit them on my middle finger. But, um, I don't know if they're not quite tens. They might be like nine and three quarters or something. Because I know, um, some rings they come marked as ten. But they're just a little bit below a ten. Um, because I'm pretty sure I do wear a ten. Just a straight ten on my middle fingers. And these just, like, don't fit. Like, I could push it on there. This one is actually smaller than this one. Being that they're, even though they're both size ten. Um, and this one kind of goes on. It makes it on there. But it's just kind of tight. It's just a little little bit tight. I mean, I can still move it. But my fingers swell a lot. So, um, I don't want to keep it on there. Because I don't want to end up not being able to get it off. And I would look really, really disgusting when I'm standing at work. Like, with my finger in my mouth trying to lick it so I can pull it off. So, I just am going to avoid that and wear it on my ring fingers. 
um, they are a little bit loose well actually a lot of bit loose when I shake them sometimes they fall so I'm gonna have to get snuggies or since they're real I can resize these too so um win-win for me um okay I'm gonna stop rambling now because I tend to do that uh, especially when I don't have really anything left to show you or to talk about so um thank you very much for watching my videos today um I never thought that I'd be making the videos, but as long as I keep getting wax in and my budget allows for me to get some wax and candles, I will be doing more reviews, reveals. So, um, please subscribe to my channel. Um, not very many videos so far, but hopefully if everything goes okay, I'll have more. Um, and yeah, um, just have a good night and I will hopefully see you tomorrow. I'm supposed to be getting... Um, another package tomorrow. I can't even remember what it is. I'm thinking and I'm praying that it's Kushner's Creations because I love her too. <clears throat> and um, I just, I was supposed to get two of my packages that I got today, tomorrow, so I'd have more to do tomorrow. But it came today, which that's fine. So um, yeah, I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. So thank you very much and have a good night. Bye.